Cato became very much the leader of our organization was Mahler Symphony No. 3. I'm thinking back in 2010, um, which is interesting because he has chosen Mahler Symphony No. 3 as his last performance with us as music director this spring. I think my favorite Edo moment is still to come. There's such great brass rep coming up. Um, Bruckner 7 and Mahler 3, of course. Um, the Mahler Third Symphony has a post horn solo in it, which, which I'll be playing from offstage. I'm really looking forward to doing that with him. And there is this big trombone solo in the Mahler's uh, Third Symphony first movement. And before a big solo, you feel a little bit anxious. But then when you look at Edo, he has this look of complete trust. I remember very, very vividly the idea that we became his orchestra in all ways that week. Um, I think part of it had to do with the chorus was there, um, and that Edo is a consummate rehearser. He, he would rehearse 20 times a week if we let him. Um, and for that Mahler, we had split the orchestra and, and done some sectionals, and I felt perhaps the most prepared I had ever felt to play a Mahler symphony. Um, to tackle a work like that just in one week is a huge undertaking, and I remember the level of comfort I felt on the Friday night thinking, you know what, I think we got this. And then you want to live up to how he trusts that I can sound. So um, it makes, made me uh, feel very much at ease and made me wanted to perform the best I could. And uh, you know, I started playing and then Edo is just like a magician. He just shapes the phrases the way he wanted it to sound. And it was just a magical moment. And there's a beautiful chorale at the end of the sixth movement. The, the movement is titled, What Love Tells Me. Uh, it's not intended to be a romantic love, but sort of a, an all-encompassing love of humankind. And I think that will be particularly special to do that with Edo, especially in his final concert with us. And, you know, one of the last moments of that movement is, is a gorgeous, gorgeous trumpet and trombone chorale. The horns later get to join, of course. But this chorale is so beautiful, and uh, I can't wait to do it with Edo.